Good morning, Warriors! Back with another episode of Vigor Warriors 2, uh, the 1% Club. Hope you guys are doing well. This is June 15, 2022. Hope everything is going well. Hope you guys are working on your plans, continuing your journey day by day. You know, little challenges here and there. Um, I'm, I'm getting close to 750 days and actually uh, birthday number 61 in another 10 days. So we're getting moving ahead and continuing and I have I, I, I haven't felt better in my whole life so this is wonderful and hope you guys are continuing your uh, streaks as well thank you for all your comments uh, all the um, subscriptions donations all those great things uh, I realize this is really a really a tough time for people we are all going through tough times with this stuff that's going on in our world with inflation and all the things that are you know just just awful types of things that uh, corrupt types of things that people go through you know because of the corruptness that we have in our society and the evil we have in our society so I understand that and and so any kind of people any 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 kind of attention that you can give whether it's a, a comment a like I appreciate that a great deal so thank you very much I appreciate that hopefully we get the word out and we learn uh, kind of give more information out to people and get people to raise this 1% to a 2% so that's my that's my goal. All right. So um, as we do this, I always like comments. And once again, I've gotten some good comments. Uh, Jovica gave a comment, and so you you tree. And so I'm going to kind of go focus on those in the next couple of days. I may even do a second one today. But I wanted to kind of focus on a comment from Naha, and it, it, it x x it starts with x and obi. And uh, Naha, I think that's, if that's wrong, you know, I apologize. It's very difficult for me to kind of uh, phonetically kind of look at, at, at that um, and understand what it is. So I apologize for that. So, um, but, but you make a very great comment and I think this is something to look at. So the title of this one today is going to be that you look younger on your journey. You can look younger on your journey. Because the comment that nah, Naha made was basically saying that she wasn't very attractive. I'm, I'm sure I'm, I'm assuming it's a she, uh, very attractive in her 20s, but then became uh, attractive in her 30s. And there's a lot of good reasons for that, Naha. And I believe that you kind of hit something really strong on the head. I um, myself wasn't very good looking when I was a kid in high school or anything like that. Uh, a lot of it was because um, you have a certain level of confidence, and I didn't have that when I was younger. And so certainly I think as you get older, you get a little more confidence, and you're able to uh, you know, know that you've survived so long that you can actually kind of keep surviving, and so you become more confident as time goes on. But I also think there's a lot of other things involved in this too. I think certainly the retention makes a big difference, especially for males they tend to look better as they get older especially if they're on their purpose if they're on goals they're not just focusing chasing women around all the time and thinking about you know porn and all the other kind of stuff all day long they're more interested in achieving goals and getting things done and so because of that they're not going to focus on women and as a, as a result of that they become a lot more attractive because they're not desperate out there and desperate reeks you know, wreaks a lot of insecurity. And so as a person, when you don't have that sort of uh, desperate nature, you become a lot more attractive. Now, always is a two-edged sword because on retention, you're a very attractive person. The trouble is, is that, you know, um, you know, you don't want to get involved with these relationships, especially like me being married. You don't want to get involved in these kind of relationships because that destroys everything you're working for. And so you have to be very careful. Now, if you have that one person who you are, um, you know, married to or you're with, that's one thing. That's going to be your decision about your energy. But when it comes to actually focusing on um, the whole idea of uh, retention and the whole idea of attractiveness and looks, the bottom line really is, is that you will get better looking as you get older. And especially if you have all those things within you, all you have, all those types of um, attractive focusing, all those energy, your vitamins, everything in you, you're not losing your energy, whether it's emotional draining or it's physical draining, 
on a daily basis, you're gonna become a lot more attractive. And so as you get older, this can really help you a great deal. And you look a lot younger. And so part of it is that you will look a lot younger. And I think that's a key type of thing to kind of think about. This is why when I started back in 1998, I found a book, I think it was actually in a uh, Goodwill store. I found a book called The Fountain of Youth, and I decided to try it and look at it and uh, trying to see, well, could this make a difference in my life? And I did read about all the people in the Tibet tribes and, uh, you know, the, the, monk, the, uh, the priests and people who were using this to try to, you know, kind of get a foundation not only for the religion, but a way of life. And so, according to the book and according to what I've read and, and research, a lot of these people were over 100 years old. And this was back in the 1950s, which is you know, something that we did not really see a lot of back then. And the idea was is that you had people living a long time, and they were still very strong and vital. And this is why we call it Vigor, vigor Warriors, right? Because the whole idea is that I started this being older myself, being 57, 58 years old. And so I wanted to kind of continue this vitality all the way up until my, my last day. And so the whole thing is that you want to keep vital and you want to keep vigorous. And so as you get older, there's no reason in the world that you shouldn't be having vitality, man or woman. It makes no difference. A lot of that comes from two things. One, it comes from the media. In our perception, social media, the fact that we should be getting weaker as we get older. I see people at the YMCA, you know, weightlifting are 90, 95 years old. I just marvel at that because they have that intestinal fortitude, that attitude that you can actually continue to look younger and be younger no matter how old you are. And there's no reason with all the energy we have within ourselves. I mean, I'm six, almost to be 61 in two weeks, and I'm still bursting with energy right now. But that's because I've had almost two years, more than two years, of retention. And so I think when, you, when, when I'm older, older people tend to kind of look at it a little differently. When they're older, they're focusing more on, you know, their health and vitality. But losing all the energy kills that. So I say, I think now how you make a very, very good point. You should be looking better as you get older because you're growing, you're being, being more mature physically, mentally, all those type of things spiritually. And you should also then be able to recognize that the world we are living in is a matrix. People believe one thing they've been taught and unfortunately it's not correct. Most of the stuff's not correct, especially when it comes to retention. When you're looking at retention, people think that it should be something that, um, you know, we should be, you know, letting energy go four or five times a day. That's the surest way to kill yourself, my friends. <laughs> Drain yourself dry. And this is why we have people who have dysfunctional types of things physically in their 20s because they have released so many times that the body just can't replenish fast enough. And so, you know, it takes a it takes it takes some time. And so the best thing to do is just not release at all unless you have a purpose. And like I said, the purpose is to procreate or, you know, at the least with somebody who you are, you know, in a relationship with, who basically you're the person with. Now, I wouldn't even do that. I mean, marriage-wise, yes, but not in a relationship. I would obviously, in my opinion, but I'm old fashioned, you know, my opinion, uh, wait till you get married. But it's just an old, it's an, it's a, it's a, it's an opinion. Nowadays, it may not be as relevant to some of you. But once again, I go back to the Bible and talking about the fact that the more you can keep your energy, the more that you wait, the better off things will be. And so I've been married over 30 years now, and that's what we ended up doing. And, and I just, uh, I just see it as a lot of advantages over it. But that's another story for another time. Basically, Naha, we're going back to Naha's question. And Naha, you're exactly right. I think basically what you're focusing on is the fact that you're realizing that your inner beauty comes out more as you get older. Only if you have the right type of attitude and you can see that. By the point you're saying that, you do have a better attitude. 
I think attitudes destroy people. You look at people's faces, you look at their angry, they're a pessimist or optimist. If they're happy for the most part, they'll look happy. And the inside will eventually catch up to the outside, in my opinion. And what ends up happening is that your inside matches your outside eventually. And if you're mean and angry all the time, you have a very bad opinion of people and you're not really you know, with people, any of those type of things, then all of a sudden you're going to be turning more and more, in my opinion, more ugly as time goes on right? Because your outside is going to catch up with your inside. I've seen people who look great, you know, beautiful when they were in their 20s, but then you really did not look very good in their 40s and 50s. Because all of a sudden, you know, all the inside, all the anger, all the things that they were feeling come out in certain ways. And all of a sudden that person is a whole different type of person. And they look that way when they get into it. So so that's something to kind of think about as you go along as well. I think as you look at you know, your attitudes towards people, as you look towards how you feel about people, all these things make a huge difference when it comes to trying to um, you know, try to try to be healthy and live a long, you know, prosperous type of life. All right, my friends. Well, enough for today. Anaha, thank you for your comments. I appreciate those as always. I, uh, I hope that uh, I at least kind of addressed your comment back. Thank you so much for your comment and uh, you know keep battling on and I you know I, I encourage all males and females to view uh, you know these these episodes and give me your opinions and back and forth. I you know I, I've, I've talked about this before. I've had people who did not like what I said or you know, and that's okay. You know, that's your opinion. I appreciate that. And I certainly am still learning myself about a lot of these things. And I'm always happy to continue learning about Brahmacharya, Sophism, all these type of things that we talk about. Uh, I only give my opinions because I talk about what's been effective for me. And so hopefully it will also be effective for some of you too. All right. So thanks again. A shout out to Naha. I hope you guys are doing well today. And we will talk very soon. I may do an ex another one pretty soon as well. All right, guys, God bless you and battle on.